So this is the Piclopedia. Inside the Piclopedia are notes from all three of the people that take notes. Uh, Louie just so happens to be one of them, but Louie specifically likes to eat everything that is on the planet. And let me, let's read, let's read the first note. This is the dwarf ball borb. Louis says, for a blissful bisque, mince the entire beast finely and stir in with heavy cream, artichoke hearts, and a pinch of black pepper. Heat slowly until piping hot. Mmm, rich and creamy. <laughs> All right, let's see what the albino dwarf ball borb says. Literally the first sentence, Peel off the skin. Louis is peeling off the skin of a dwarf ball orb, starting at the tail end, starting at the butt. Dude is starting at the butt and skinning in this thing. Then slice thinly and boil in a pot of heavily salted water. Serve immediately. <laughs> Peel off the skin. Peel off the skin now. Peel off the skin. Peel it off. <laughs> Peel off the skin. <laughs> um, what the flip? Do you like the way your skin feels on your body? You don't? We'll take it off. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, the other two. Olimar's yapping, bro. Look at this long explanation. Read Olimar. What? Uh, during what? Let's go to Water Wraith. I think that one's gonna be funny. Inedible. Known to cause mass hysteria, followed by leg spasms and internal thunderings. I like how he says inedible, and then he proceeds to say what happens when you eat it. That doesn't- that's not what inedible means. Dude literally had leg spasms and internal thunderings? Louis had diarrhea. Louis had diarrhea. What else is internal thunderings? That's gas. Dude was farting. You can eat anything once. That's that's, that's a good point. <laughs> Louis got IBS now that he ate water wraith. <laughs> he just had all this happen and came back and wrote this information down. He really did. He was just like, oh man, I shouldn't have ate that. I need to write this down. For those who prefer leaner cuts, I recommend, recommend the tip of the nose. You're literally gonna eat this guy's honker. Eating this dude's honker, bro. And he's he's got a red nose because he's got allergies. No stove, no problem. This sizzling beast practically cooks itself. Remember to thoroughly extinguish the steaks prior to eating. That's cute. Okay, the larva. What you gotta say? This meager creature offers little meat but its eyeballs are a local delicacy. Try them with okra and a dollop of sour cream. This dude's popping the eyeballs off of these creatures. Just popping them things out and crunching on them like a grape. Dude is eating paste from a creature on a cracker. <laughs> He's got the, got the Emperor's Bull Black's Lunchables. When the crew runs out of food and slowly turns his head toward the Pikmin. He's dying to eat the Pikmin. Hold on. Let me show you what Louis thinks about the Pikmin. Looks like a Pik Pik character. Carrot. I bet it tastes good, but I'm practicing self-restraint. <laughs> he won't eat it. The yellow Pikmin, he says, when I look at it, all I see is ears. The blue Pikmin has the funniest description. I look at that mouth and want to put my hand in it just to see what would happen. <laughs> I don't understand why he would say that. Why would he write this down and share these notes with me? <laughs> rock Pikmin. I think I broke a tooth on one of those. He attempted to eat a rock Pikmin. Gordon Ramsay has been really silent since Louie has been making these notes. Gordon Ramsay ain't got nothing on Louie. Let's see what Ice Pikmin says. A kitchen essential used for freezing ingredients and storing leftovers. Wow. He's, he's, he's making the ice Pikmin work in the kitchen for him. White Pikmin, not meant to be ingested. Best used as bait. Bro sacrificing Pikmin to get a snack. Purple Pikmin, very heavy. Too big. Onion, if you look closely, you can see its legs are sprouting a dense layer of hair. I, I, I never looked that closely, Louie, thanks. Farlic, saute in oil to add a fragrant spice to your dish. But eat too much, and you smell like it for days. He ate a farlic. Florlic, I just realized it's called a florlic. And not a farlic. Too long, didn't read. Boring, uh, journal entry. <laughs> Louie. <laughs> Don't worry about overcooking this beast. It's scorch proof. <laughs> Sorry. Sprinkle lightly with salt and eat while the ice bag is. The ice bag? Back, uh, back up. Back. I'm not. I'm stuck on the ice bag. 
What, what's the ice bag? Lu Louie, Louie, you can't gloss over the ice bag. What is the blowhog's ice bag? The blowhog? <laughs> That just hit me. Bigger is not better in this case. What are, what are these innuendos? Why are there so many? Why are there so many? <laughs> why are there so many sus saves in this all of a sudden? Bro, just. <laughs> oh my god, dude, I'm crying. Why did he say that? Scrape the interior of its elongated nose with a spoon for a quick dessert of meaty. Shaved eyes. <laughs> Dude's eating this thing's boogers. You know you've gone too far when you're eating blowhog boogers. Get yes, who let Louie cook? Who let Louie cook? Get him out of the kitchen. Drain all the blood. Drain all the blood of the dust blowhog. Do it now. Drain its blood. Drop it to boiling water and let it cook until the shell turns red. <laughs> how big is that pot? <laughs> Hold on. Let's 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 see how. <laughs> Put guys just just put it in a pot. Just put this in a pot. Duh. Boil this. You can put this in a pot and boil it. Peel back the shell and sprinkle the tender meat with a dash of salt before slurping it up raw. We're gonna eat it raw. For a refreshing dessert, pour fruit juice over the snowballs. Huh? That actually sounds pretty good. You just pour some fruit juice over that. Best enjoyed when big and round. As in everything. And full of eggs. <laughs> Salt lightly <laughs> and grill. The squishy, sticky mouthfeel will have you coming back for more. Dude, the my favorite Pokemon are big and round. Like Sfeel. Sfeel, 10 out of 10 Pokemon. Uh, Rowlet. 10 out of 10 Pokemon. Hydro Dweevil. Inedible? No! Effects of consumption include uncontrollable arms flailing and enthusiastic dishwashing. Holy guacamole. I do need the enthusiasm for dishwashing to be completely honest. <laughs> Man at legs. Although the meat is a bit on the metallic side, the oil makes a mouth-watering gravy or lubricative, lubricative vinaigrette. Do be eating metal, chewing on metal. It's groovy long legs. This creature is mostly tendon, so it often gets stuck in your teeth. Smells like burnt plastic. Dude, groovy long legs is full of microplastics. Louie would eat this guy. Scudder Chuck. Amazing, that's a 10 out of 10 name. Even after draining the mud, its texture remains gritty. Chew it for long enough and your teeth will get a good scrubbing. You're brushing your teeth with mud. I'm brushing my teeth with mud. Bread bug. Bread bugs are hearty and nutritious, but also bland and unimaginative. They may be palatable in a pinch, but they hold no true culinary promise. I, I, I like that he'd be a mean to bread bug. It's literally bread. It's literally, literally, literally bread. Giant bread bug. Although cooking, this colossal beast yields a mountain of meat. Every ounce of it is flavorless. Only suitable for intergalactic all-you-can-eat buffets. It's just bread. Louis a bread hater. Dude, I want to make some garlic bread, bruh. I got some popcorn here. <laughs> oh, all right. Here we go. I'm Louis. Gently peel your skin back from your nose. This meat has a grassy bitterness, tastes like cucumber. Mammoth snoot whacker. <laughs> the what? The snoot whacker? That's really what the name you went with, huh? That's really the name that God chose you. That's really the one that you were just summoned upon. That's the one that's, that's the name that you were given. Season with salt and pepper. Season with salt and pepper. Breast, thighs, and wings <laughs> can be baked, roasted, or fried. <laughs> I, I committed to reading that in a weird way before I actually knew what that said. Oh, God. Anyone with a highly developed palate will enjoy the slightly bitter flavor profile. Bro, why does that remind... <laughs> why does that remind me of... Um... <laughs> I IQ to understand Rick and Morty. You, you, you have to have a pretty de highly developed palate to understand the shock cake. <laughs>
Tastes best if eaten just before the meat spoils. What? Why, why would you do that? Once all the mold has been removed, enjoy a unique flavor reminiscent of dry age. I'm not, I'm not doing this, Louie. I'm not eating moldy dwarf bulb orb. Yeah, exactly. Louie's like, ooh, bread. Disgusting. Moldy meat. That's the best thing I've ever heard. Don't drink too much or you will find yourself with a crippling tummy ache. <laughs> not the tummy ache. Mamuta. Inedible. Tastes like chicken. That's not what inedible means. You're you're a liar. You're lying. Everything you said, anything you're going to say is a lie. Oh, so now he likes bread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, dude's like, I love breadcrumbs now. Yeah, just give it some breadcrumbs. Totally like it now. Similar in taste and texture to gelatin, this jiggling mass of jelly can be sculpted into all kinds of creative shapes. As a bonus, it also doubles as professional grade hair gel. It's the perfect cool summer. Tr you're eating hair gel. You're, you have like one little dot of hair. And you're you're just you're eating your hair gel. Wally Hop, our best ground up, shaped into a patty and flame broiled on a grill. Whopper, 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 Wally, Wally Hopper, Wally Hopper. Slap on tomato slices, lettuce, onions, and ketchup. Then slide the patty between a sesame seed bun for the ultimate beast burger experience. Beast burger, water dumple. Deep fried dumples without batter for all the flavor with half the fat. Ooh, this was this was a, a low fat snack too. The tip of the tail tastes almost fruity with notes of sweet and sour. Pairs well with salt, soft ripened cheese. Oh, this is the fancy meal. Louis getting fancy. Got the got the fruit and cheese. We might as well serve some crackers out and have a little social. Louis ate the fart cloud. I don't get it. How does he eat that? No, 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 Okay, I guess that's how he does it. Doesn't smell alive. Sounds like a punchline. <laughs> and that is it, folks. And thank you all so much for being here. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. I had such a blast reading Louis's insane, twisted, sick mind.